Legends, stories scattered through time. Mankind has grown quite fond of recounting the exploits of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. Man, born from dust, was strong, wise, and resourceful, but he was born into an unforgiving world. In inevitable darkness, creatures of destruction, the creatures of grim, set their sights on man and all of his creations. These forces clashed, and it seemed the darkness was intent on returning man's brief existence to the void. However, even the smallest spark of hope is enough to ignite change. And in time, man's passion, resourcefulness, and ingenuity led them to the tools that would help even the odds. This power was appropriately named Dust. Nature's wrath in hand, man lit their way through the darkness. And in the shadow's absence came strength, civilization, and most importantly, light. But even the most brilliant lights eventually flicker and die. And when they are gone, darkness will return. So you may prepare your guardians, build your monuments to a so-called free world, but take heed, there will be no victory in the strength. But perhaps victory is in the simpler things that you've long forgotten, things that require a smaller, more honest soul. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a dust shop open this late? Please, just take my linen leave. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. We're not here for your money. Grab the dust. Crystals. Burn. Cut. Alright kid, put your hands where I can see them. Hey, I said hands in the air. You got a death wish or something? Huh? Yes? I said put your hands in the air. Now. Are you robbing me? Yes. Oh. Hey! Yeah! Truly you were. Well, Red, I think we can all say it's been an eventful evening. And as much as I'd love to stick around, I'm afraid this is where we part ways. You okay if I go after him? Ah. Uh. We 
got a Huntress. Can I have your autograph? I hope you realize that your actions tonight will not be taken lightly, young lady. You put yourself and others in great danger. They started it! If it were up to me, you'd be sent home. With a pat on the back. And a slap on the wrist. <laughs> but there is someone here who would like to meet you. Ruby Rose, you have silver eyes. Uh, um... So, where did you learn to do this? S Signal Academy? They taught you to use one of the most dangerous weapons ever designed. Well, one teacher in particular. I see. It's just that I've only seen one other scythe wielder of that skill before. A dusty old crow. Oh, that's my Uncle Crow! <clears throat> Sorry, that's my Uncle Crow. He's a teacher at Signal. I was complete garbage before he took me under his wings. Now I'm all... So I've noticed. And what is an adorable girl such as yourself doing at a school designed to train warriors? Well... I want to be a huntress. You want to slay monsters? Yeah. I only have two more years of training left at Signal, and then I'm going to fly to Beacon. See, my sister's starting there this year, and she's trying to become a huntress. And I'm trying to become a huntress because I want to help people. My parents always taught us to help others, so I thought, eh, I might as well make a queer out of it. <laughs> I mean, the police are alright, but huntsmen and huntresses are just so much more romantic and exciting and cool and just, <gasps> you know? Do you know who I am? You're Professor Ospin. You're the headmaster at Beacon. Hmm. Hello. Nice to meet you. You want to come to my school? More than anything. Mm. Well, okay. Oh, I can't believe my baby sister's going to Beacon with me! This is the best day ever! Please stop. Oh, but I'm so proud of you! Really, sis, it was nothing. What do you mean? It was incredible! Everyone at Beacon is gonna think you're the bee's knees. I don't wanna be the bee's knees, okay? I don't wanna be any kind of knees. I just wanna be a normal girl with normal knees. What's with you? Aren't you excited? Of course I'm excited! I just... I got moved ahead two years. I don't want people to think I'm special or anything. But you are special. The robbery was led by nefarious criminal Roman Torch who continues to evade authorities. If you have any information of his whereabouts, please contact the Vale Police Department. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, Cyril. In other news, this Saturday's Fauna civil rights protest turned dark when members of the White Fang disrupted the ceremony. The once peaceful organization has now disrupted it. Hello, and welcome to Beacon. Who's that? My name is Linda Goodrich. Oh! You are among a privileged few who have received the honor of being selected to attend this prestigious academy. Our world is experiencing an incredible time of peace, and as future huntsmen and huntresses, it is your duty to uphold it. You have demonstrated the courage needed for such a task, 
And now it is our turn to provide you with the knowledge and the training to protect our world. Oh, wow. Check it out. Look, you can see signal from up here. Guess one isn't too far after all. Beacons are home now. Oh. Well, I guess the view isn't for everyone. It was a nice moment while it lasted. I wonder who we're gonna meet. Ugh, I just hope they're better than vomit for it. Ah, yay! Gross! You have puke on your shoe! Gross, 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 g